section 71 rihadaswa continued having heard the words of sudeva king rituparna soothing vahuka with gentle words said o vahuka thou art well skilled in training and guiding horses if it pleases thee i intend to go to damayanti swayamvara in course of a single day thus addressed o son of kunti by that king nala felt his heart to be bursting in grief and the high souled king seemed to burn in sorrow and he thought within himself perhaps damayanti in doing this is blinded by sorrow or perhaps she hath conceived this magnificent scheme for my sake alas cruel is the deed that the innocent princess of vidarbha intends to do having been deceived by my sinful and low self of little sense it is seen in the world that the nature of woman is inconstant my offense also hath been great perhaps she is acting so because she hath no longer any love for me owing to my separation from her indeed that girl of slender waist afflicted with grief on my account and it despair will not suddenly do anything of the kind and especially she is the mother of offspring by me however whether this is true or false i shall ascertain with certainty by going thither i will therefore accomplish rituparnas and my own purpose also having resolved thus in his mind vahuka with his heart in sorrow spake unto king rituparna with joined hands saying ho monarch hi bho to thy behest and ho tiger among men i will go to the city of the vidarbhas in a single day ho king then ho monarch at the command of the royal son of bhangasura vahuka went to the stables and began to examine the horses and repeatedly urged by riti for rituparna to make haste vahuka after much scrutiny and careful deliberation selected some steeds that were lean fleshed yet strong and capable of a long journey and endued with energy and strength of high breed and ductility free from inauspicious marks with wide nostrils and swelling cheeks free from faults as regards the ten hairy curls born in the country of sindhu and fleet as the winds and seeing those horses the king said somewhat angrily what is this that thou wishest to do thou shouldst not just with us how can these horses of mine weak in strength and breath carry us and how shall we be able to go to this long way by help of these vahuka replied each of these horses bears one curl on his forehead two on his temples four on his sides four on his chest and one on his back without doubt these steeds will be able to go to the country of the vidarbhas if o king thou thinkest of choosing others point them out and i shall yoke them for thee rituparna rejoined ho vahuka thou art versed in the science of horses and art also skillful in guiding them do thou speedily yoke those that thou thinkest to be able thereupon the skillful nala yoked upon the car four excellent steeds of good breed that were besides doxel and fleet and after the steeds had been yoked the king without loss of time mounted upon the car when those best of horses fell down upon the ground on their knees then o king that foremost of men the blessed king nala began to soothe horses endued with energy and strength and raising them up with the reins and making the charioteer varshneya sit on the car he prepared to set out with great speed and those best of steeds gule harjit bai vahuka rose to the sky confounding the occupant of the vehicle and beholding those steeds gifted with the speed of the wind thus drawing the car the blessed king of ayodhya was exceedingly amazed and noticing the rattle of the car 
and also the management of the steeds varsneya reflected upon vahuka's skill in guiding horses and he thought easy mathali the charioteer of the king of the celestials i find the same magnificent indications in the heroic vahuka or hath salihotra versed in science of horses taken this human shape so beautiful or is it king nala the reducer of hostile towns that hath come here or it may be that this vahuka knoweth the signs of that nala knoweth for i perceive that the knowledge of vahuka is equal to that of nala further vahuka and nala are of same age this one again may not be nala of i proves but somebody of equal knowledge illustrious persons however walk this earth in disguise in consequence of misfortune or agreeably to the ordinance of the scriptures that this person is of unsightly appearance need not change my opinion for nala i think may even be despoiled of his personal features in respect of age this one he equals nala there is difference however in personal appearance vahuka again is endued with every accomplishment i think therefore he is nala having thus reasoned long in his mind o mighty monarch varshneya the former charioteer of the righteous nala became absorbed in thought and that foremost of kings vituparna also beholding the skill of vahuka in equestrian science experienced great delight along with his charioteer varshneya and thinking of vahuka supplication and hard door and the manner of his holding the reins king felt exceedingly glad thus handeth the 71st section in the nalopakhyana parva of the vana parva